Brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> I would just like to give some reflection on the first reading of uh, our Mass for today. Um, it is about um, Philip the Apostle. Uh, Philip the Apostle came up and um, he was told that uh, there was this uh, Ethiopian um, uh, eunuch who was uh, going to uh, Jerusalem in a chariot and uh, um, through a voice um, this eunuch uh, uh, s stopped and um, then Philip, the apostle, um, went to this uh, uh, treasurer, this uh, utopian uh, you know. And then that was an opportunity for Philip, the apostle, to talk with uh, this uh, Ethiopian. And um, he said about uh, the coming of the uh, Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, that is after the Easter season and um, um, about the resurrection of our Lord and uh, also that uh, he uh, uh, was going to uh, Jerusalem in order to, to, uh, to have uh, a prayer there. But then when... Uh, this uh, Philip, the apostle, told him about uh, the Christ who resurrected. And, uh, oh, that is a very good, uh, a very good uh, teaching that you gave uh, me, he said. And uh, he, talk also, he talks also about uh, the uh, baptism. Uh, so, uh, he said that uh, let's uh, better stop here and we better, according to your religion, uh, have uh, my baptism. Kaya they stopped and Philip got a uh, um, handful of water and prayed over uh, this uh, utopian and uh, he was baptized. Now, after that, Philip separated and this uh, Ethiopian eunuch uh, uh, went back to his, own, to his own country. Now, here, dear brothers and sisters, Philip was a missionary, apostle, and this is what others did uh, among our uh, apostles uh, who became uh, missionaries in the sense that uh, they went uh, to all parts of the world in order to uh, teach people. And as our Lord said in his ascension, um, go to all nations, uh, making disciples of all people, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So yan po mga kapatid ang misyon ng ating mga uh, apostol and they have gone to different parts of the world and many of them were even killed uh, by the Jews because uh, they told them and warned them that they should not talk about Jesus Christ but the more they did it, the more they warned them then the more they, uh, the more they uh, spread the words of Jesus Christ. So they were convinced, my dear brothers and sisters, that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ had really risen from the dead. And from there, that uh, all those who were baptized from all over the world, well, they were able to uh, teach about our Lord and uh, 
we continue to teach as missionaries. Kaya ang tanong natin sa ating mga sarili ni mga kapatid ay uh, tayo ay nabinyagan and we have uh, also learned about the uh, uh, teachings of our Lord. Now, uh, are we also uh, doing what our Lord said? That we go to uh, people to be missionaries? Of course, we cannot be missionaries like uh, Philip. We cannot be missionaries like, uh, uh, for example, uh, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, who was uh, the uh, um, <clears throat> patroness of uh, the world uh, missions uh, of the Catholic Church. Alam niyo, nung ako po ay uh, naordinahang pare, ay um, we had to make uh, our own so-called uh, um, a letter of uh, appointment where we would go and be a missionary. At ang isunulat ko po doon sa aking um, <clears throat> Uh, letter of appointment was uh, um, so um, Mexico Central America dahil you know uh, I belong to this uh, missionary congregation unfortunately hindi po ako um, hindi ko ako nagbigyan ng uh, permiso or they did not accept my wish to work in Mexico, Central America. But of course, it's the superiors who uh, agree or who give the permission. But I was not able to make it. At alam ninyo, ako ay nag- uh, nag-joke at sinabi ko na lang, well, puro naabot ko naman ang Mexico, pero Mexico, Pampanga, in the whole Central America. Uh, but, my dear brothers and sisters, it doesn't mean that just because you do not go to foreign countries, you're a missionary. No. We can be all missionaries at home. We can all be missionaries wherever you are, whether you're in an office, whether uh, you are with your families. And how do we do this? Well, it is true what we can, uh, for example, uh, share our uh, resources for um, missionaries who are working abroad, for example. And this we do on Mission Sunday or on uh, Sunday of uh, uh, Sunday of uh, our our missionaries and this will happen this coming Sunday the Sunday of uh, vocations to the priesthood and religious so um, for example we can share our three T's, you know, tatlong T. Yung isa ay, uh, that is your time, your talent, and your treasure. So you may not be able to give something uh, uh, that is uh, a treasure or money or in a collection, but you can also give your time, for example, to uh, have something to do in our uh, churches or in our shrine like here. Or, of course, it means also to be a missionary, to pray for our missionaries, to pray for those who do not know yet Christ. So, uh, in other words, that we have also to show do something in order to be able to reach out to the missions. Just like the apostles uh, during that time, 
when Christ had uh, ascended into heaven. So, my dear brothers and sisters, like I said, it doesn't mean that you have to go to the mission or a bush mission like New Guinea, but rather you can work yourself uh, helping and praying for our missionaries. So like the Apostle Philip, who was uh, therefore a very active uh, Apostle of our Lord and missionary, let's do our part, my dear brothers and sisters, to be missionaries, not only abroad or then think about bush missions like the, in Africa and New Guinea, but rather here and now to be a missionary at home. Amen. <laughs>